Hello and welcome to a new lesson. In this lesson, we would experiment with the default settings and thus explore and learn more about the MapReduce framework. Let us just revisit again map, combine and reduce functions and see them in a notation form. Map takes keys and values as input and outputs a list of keys and values. Combiner takes input as a key and list of values corresponding to the key and produces the list of keys and values. And exactly same is the case with reduce function. Hence, while implementation, combiner extends reducer class. Another thing to be noted here is that for a single input key pair, the map or combine or reducer function can emit multiple key value pairs. And now let us get introduced to a new function, partition. It takes key value pair as input and produces an integer as result. This integer is used to decide to which reducer the key value pair would go to. We'll see later in the lesson the default partitioner mechanism so that we can override in case we require to. For now, let us perform an experiment. Let us try to run our driver program with minimal job configurations and see what it does. So here is our default driver class. As you can see, there is no job configuration put in this class. We haven't specified the map class, the reduce class, nor the combine class, neither we have specified the input data types and nor the output data types. We have just set the input path and the output path. Let us try to run this and see. Let me first print the input. So the input file has two lines of input. Now let us run the program. Let us see the output. And so this is how the output looks like. You can see here that the output line is a numeric integer, which signifies the byte offset from the start of the file and the line that follows it. So 21 specifies that line that is the question starts from the 21st byte position on the file. This is from the default run of mapper and reducer. Let us understand how the default mapper and reducers look like. The mapper class as we already know has key value input and key value pair output. This is where we put the data types. This is the map function which we otherwise override. As we already know, this has three parameters, key, value and context. In the processing, it just plainly emits the key and value pairs which it received. The default input key data type is long writable. It is so because it can handle large numbers. The default input value is text and default output key value data types are the same as the input. After map has produced its input, the partitioner is responsible to divide the result and distribute the values to reducer. By default, there is no combiner class. The default partitioner is hash partitioner and this is how it looks like. Get partition function takes key, value and number of reducers as input. It simply produces the hash code of the key and performs an operation with the integer max value and modulo it to get to which reducer it should go to. Suppose if the reducers are 3, then the result of all the keys would come out to be 0, 1 or 2. Depending on the result, the key value would be sent to a particular reducer. It is to be noted that only key is considered on which reducer the key value should go to. And that is how it should be as we want all the values to a particular key to go to a single reducer. But this can be changed as per requirement of the situation. It can happen so that you would need certain key value to be processed by certain reducers only. Let us take an example on this. Let us assume that we are processing a file with people's first name, second name and colors they like. Suppose we are looking to search for a crazy pattern if there is a correlation between the names and the preference of color. So our record looks like Mary, which is the first name, Fisher, which is the second name, 
and the color preference that follow it. So the file would be filled with these kinds of record. So in that case, we have decided to set the key as a second name in the map. This helps us to group the records with the second name. And so the map output is second name as the key and the whole record as the value. And this would be fit to the partitioner. Now we want that people with the first name should go to the same reducer. So in that case, we would add the first name as well to the hash partitioner to calculate the hash code. As you can see that Fisher James has been sent to a different reducer despite its key value is the same as Fisher Mary. This is because of the custom partition defined. Okay, after a little detour, let us now again jump back to our main discussion, which was to understand the defaults. Let us look at the default reducer. Again, like the map class, default reducer would specify the data types for input key value pair and the data types for the output key value pair. This is the reduce method, which we generally override. It has three input parameters. First is the key. Second, the iterable field of values and third is the context. In the processing portion, it just outputs the value it has received. The default data types are long writable and text. Let us look at a default driver, which is explicitly specified. As discussed, the default mapper class is mapper and key is long writable and value text. Default partitioner is hash partitioner. Default number of reducers is one. Default reducer is reducer dot class and output key is long writable and value is text. Set output and input format is not what we have discussed till now and it is what we discuss in the next lesson.